Okay, so we learnt about uh, the causes of disease and how it is caused. Now uh, we will learn about uh, the types of diseases which we briefly discussed as uh, being uh, acute diseases and chronic diseases. On acute, we said, was uh, types of diseases which last only for a short period of time and affect uh, the body suddenly and quickly. Example is cough, cold, typhoid. It comes quickly and it goes quickly as well. When you have something like chronic diseases, it uh, sets in uh, over a long period of time and then uh, it either remains with you for a long period of time it means it takes a long time to get cured or uh, you don't get cured of it you just remain with it and then finally uh, you die with it as well so th some of them are including diabetes uh, tuberculosis elephantiasis etc okay and we'll learn about these cases acute and chronic uh, diseases uh, in a little bit more detail in the upcoming slides so some of the differentiation if you if, the, if you are asked to differentiate between acute and chronic disease, so include, uh, see, acute cases, they are short duration cases, whereas chronic means long lasting, means it remains for a long time. On the other hand, <coughs> acute cases, the patient recovers completely after the cure, whereas in case of chronic disease, the patient does not uh, recover completely. In case of acute diseases, uh, there is a loss of uh, weight or feeling of tiredness afterwards. We have seen this in uh, most of the cases where we just get cold or fever and then we feel very tired and uh, we feel like as if like uh, somebody has like broken our body. We feel uh, pain throughout our body but then uh, we once we take medication we become all right uh, here you see uh, this is an infographic of uh, acute versus chronic conditions and it shows you over here the chronic conditions develops and worsens over an extended period of uh, time uh, in case of uh, atherosclerosis atherosclerosis where uh, the artery which uh, actually is responsible for oxygenated blood okay from the heart to the rest of the body okay that gets blocked and then when that gets blocked chances are that you may even get a heart attack okay in acute cases uh, the symptoms appear and change worse rapidly as in case of a heart attack okay these are acute cases chronic condition develops over a long period of time acute condition in which uh, it uh, comes and goes quickly uh, some of the chronic diseases are listed over here that includes alzheimer's uh, which include uh, uh, not just forgetting but just hallucinating about things arthritis pain between the joints asthma breathing problem cancer okay which can be over a long period of time cardiovascular problems dealing with uh, diseases of the heart then you have uh, cerebral palsy okay defect from the bare brain a COPD breathing problem, diabetes, we all know what it is. Epilepsy is means uh, fits that you get. And uh, there are many more over here, okay, that some of them may sound familiar to you, some may not. And these are some examples for you to understand what you mean by chronic diseases. Uh, you may have encountered uh, some of them, if not most. Okay. And uh, most of these chronic uh, problems are associated, that you may be associated would be with respect to aging some are with respect to uh, caused by obesity or obesity means when you are overweight and some are caused by alcohol smoking <coughs> sometimes it is also uh, your uh, ethnic background uh, and your cultural background then also about uh, your knowledge level how much do you know about certain diseases about how well do you take care of your health and so forth causes of diseases so we briefly went through the causes of diseases now we'll go a little bit more in depth about causes of disease so diseases are caused by we have learned that it is caused by pathogens like viruses bacteria fungi protozoans or worms 
we also know that poor health and undernourishment proper nutrition is important the requirement of a proper balanced diet is very very uh, essential uh, in this uh, regard then you have other hereditary and genetic disorders which means you may be suffering from particular disease or disorder uh, from birth because uh, during birth you know 50 percent uh, contribution is from father 50 percent from mother when we talk about contribution i'm referring to the uh, genetic material that is transferred when we talk about genetic material it is about uh, certain characteristics which are passed down from our father and from our mother we inherit uh, or we get 50 percent from our father 50 percent from our mother the characteristics that is why we have features uh, we, we tend to look little bit like a father a little bit like a mother but not a uh, hundred percent like a father our habits may differ our the way we look we differ our the way what we like our likings may differ and uh, one way or either we may resemble one parent or the other in uh, with this regard similarly uh, if the good comes with the, from the parents there are certain bad that also come from the parent and that would include a certain genetic disorders even if they don't have it could so happen that they may happen to their combination may result uh, in uh, causing a disorder within us that's uh, what we call as a genetic uh, disorder and uh, we get it directly from them we don't have no control over it uh, and there's nothing that can be done uh, through that so that is why it is hereditary lack of proper treatment of immunization so it is important to adhere to the immunization schedule created uh, by the government give proper doses uh, to the child uh, at that particular uh, stage and most of this are free if you go to uh, the health services uh, the public health services uh, apart from that you can even go to private doctors who may administer you additional doses uh, as per uh, your liking as you would like to protect uh, your baby from uh, uh, additional dangers Environmental pollution, uh, something that is uh, more relevant in today's world. Uh, in case of uh, Goa, there's a lot of uh, mining pollution that really harms uh, people, causing breathing problems and uh, so forth. Some do accept it that they are, uh, they have been affected by mining pollution, whereas some uh, do not uh, accept it. But overall, uh, if you go into areas which are uh, uh, into mining or uh, linked directly or indirectly to mining you will find that uh, there will be pollution and this pollution affects their health it could be air pollution or even water pollution because this uh, mining leachate as we call it okay uh, the uh, when we do mining uh, there are certain uh, byproducts that are uh, produced and that flows into the river polluting the river and uh, polluting the life forms uh, fish uh, tend to uh, take in this uh, harmful mining uh, byproducts and uh, we tend to eat that fish and as a result of which uh, uh, the mining products are di uh, directly or indirectly transferred so even it uh, the leachate even goes into or the mining um, what do you say mining pollution uh, mining products uh, sometimes go into the um, agricultural fields soil and uh, pollute the soil either things do not grow i mean the crop does not grow or if the crop grows then it absorbs uh, along with other nutrients it absorbs uh, the byproducts of mining and we when we consume it it uh, we too uh, accumulate them within our body and that's how uh, when you are in the mining area somewhere either it does affect you uh, it does affect your health and over the long run uh, we could suffer from various heart related problems uh, lung related problems and even cancer so here you have a, a chart that gives you a breakdown of uh, causes of the diseases 
and uh, to give you a broad idea of how diseases are uh, caused the, the first <coughs> half is broken down into immediate uh, causes of disease and contributed uh, causes of disease uh, under immediate you they say they are the primary causes uh, for a disease and can be identified after first checkup this can be internal causes or external causes example by cross music like for example now we uh, are in the grip of a, a coronavirus uh, pandemic now in this case this is an immediate cause of disease because uh, uh, this is an external uh, microorganism that is uh, entering within our body and uh, causing infection within our uh, body so uh, immediately causes the disease it's not a long period of term then you have contributed this causes contribute uh, to the occurrence of a disease so certain things like for example um, uh, the pollution in Delhi okay there's a lot of pollution in Delhi now this uh, pollution contributes to a uh, various uh, eye and lung related problems within in Delhi among people so a lot of them suffer from asthma, many of them experience uh, eye irritation and other, uh, sometimes some even uh, have uh, heart related problems because of uh, uh, this pollution. Okay. Now under immediate you have infectious and non-infectious and under contributory you have unhealthy conditions in proper public facilities, poverty and so forth. Uh, I'll, I'll discuss about contributory uh, causes of diseases first and under that we have uh, unhealthy conditions uh, first so we all know what do what do you mean by unhealthy conditions we need to uh, maintain not just a proper personal hygiene but it is important to make sure that people within our surroundings also uh, have having uh, or maintaining proper uh, personal hygiene when I mean surrounding it means your immediate neighbors that would be the people living within your uh, house or within the premise okay uh, it's important that uh, people practice uh, good personal hygiene then it is also important that your surroundings are uh, good clean healthy okay because if uh, your neighbor practices improper uh, hygiene uh, like in cases of dumping um, dumping uh, garbage in the nearby that could lead to a lot of problems health problem because flies could go there um, there is a pool of water over there and the mosquitoes uh, will breed over there and so forth so it is important healthy conditions are very very important so our healthy conditions are a contributing cause for a disease Apart from that, you have improper uh, public facilities. I important to have good drinking uh, water, uh, good hygienic food, okay, to avoid diseases. Many of the time, it's seen, uh, particularly water, it is seen particularly in areas which uh, <coughs> are um, well below the poverty line. Uh, here, you do not have proper drinking facilities, water is not clean and it leads to a number of water related diseases like cholera and so forth okay so it is uh, dysentery and all so it is important you need to have a good see, plus food it is important to have good hygienic food and the food should be clean you should clean the food and so forth okay so all these things are very very important over a long period of uh, time and uh, if uh, you do not have such public facilities, then it could contribute to cause of a disease. And uh, the third part, that is poverty. So poverty is associated with a number of uh, diseases. There are certain diseases which are just uh, the mention of it tells you that it is because of poverty within that area. Poor resources, poor facilities poor food, poor hygiene, everything has uh, part of poverty, okay, lack of proper healthy conditions leads to or contributes to a number of diseases and uh, lakhs of people, actually millions of people die every year 
globally because of uh, diseases uh, which are contributed uh, because of poverty okay uh, things have become better over a period of time as uh, globalization has spread and has as economic conditions have become better in countries but uh, yet people can, do continue to die though uh, the number of people who are dying or who have been suffering from diseases because of poverty have has decreased uh, to a great extent yet uh, the number is still substantial and uh, international bodies and NGOs are working to ensure that uh, people get uh, basic facilities, uh, good hygiene and proper healthy conditions in order to avoid diseases which are caused because of poverty. Coming to the immediate causes of disease, we have infectious and non-infectious. Infectious are those which spread from one person to another. Non-infectious means it does not spread from one person to another. Infectious diseases are basically caused by viruses, bacteria, and other microorganisms. Whereas non-infectious are more lifestyle-related problems, problems with happening within your body, something going wrong within your body. These are cases of non-infectious. Infectious diseases like you having the COVID virus now causing uh, multiple problems within people. People are dying also and it spreads from one person to another. This is infectious. Non-infectious would be like if in case if you are uh, probably uh, suffering from uh, malaria or, or high blood pressure or diabetes or cancer then such a thing is not transmittable to the other person. Transmittable as in you cannot spread it to another person just by coughing or sneezing. So the other person will not get these diseases. Okay. So this is a brief breakdown of uh, what things do cause uh, different diseases. Coming to infectious and non-infectious diseases, we have already discussed how are infectious diseases are caused and how non-infectious diseases are caused and what are the different, uh, some types of infectious diseases and some type of non-infectious Remember, infectious means you can spread it by sneezing, by coughing, by sharing meals with each other, by sharing needles and by sharing different uh, let's say, dif in different ways you can spread it to the other person but it's non infectious no matter what you do uh, you will not be able to spread such a disease to the next person so you may be sick uh, but the person taking care of you or within the house or your family members will not get sick if you are suffering from a non infectious disease that explains why uh, if you, uh, your parent or your grandparent suffers from diabetes or high blood pressure, uh, you don't ha have it. Okay, so it is not infectious. Okay, that's the internal body problem most of the time. Coming to certain uh, diseases caused by microorganisms, then we have first is the SARS virus. What does SARS actually stands for? It actually stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome and it is caused actually by a coronavirus. Okay, so don't be under the impression that uh, coronavirus is only causing um, the pandemic that you hear about because of which you have to undergo lockdown and so forth. Right now, coronavirus also causes normal cold as well and coronavirus has been there for a very very long time but uh, they have a big family you can call them a big family and some are very bad and some are not so bad and some are uh, don't really harm at all okay but uh, at some point of time you know, we have been infected by a coronavirus not the coronavirus that we are experiencing now which everybody is talking about because of which we were in went lockdown because of which people are dying i'm not talking about that coronavirus this that coronavirus belongs to a family this is a family of viruses called coronavirus the reason why it's called coronavirus is because 
uh, the outer protein structure that it has got that you can see see the membrane protein it looks like a crown okay when seen under the, uh, an electron microscope the size is extremely small you can see it's 500 nanometer or 0.5 micrometer or 0.001 millimeter that's how small it is you can't see it uh, with the naked eye it is extremely small and uh, these proteins are responsible for the, its infection. So SARS virus uh, was responsible for a number of deaths, not as much as the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it was causing a lot of deaths, a lot of, there was a scare at one particular time and it was causing breathing problems as well. So most coronaviruses have this uh, tendency to kind of be lethal or cause death. 